Welcome to 2022, question A1. This was a skew lines question. So, the image below shows the booms of two cranes, right? The two cranes here. Uh, the crane of the booms are represented by skew lines A, B, and C, D. So, that's like our A, B, and our C, D. And here we have them, our orthographic views um, in our elevation plan. Determine the projections of the shortest horizontal line between the skew lines. Okay, so we need to take a level line here first of all, and um, we'll take a level line from B and then go parallel to CD from A. So, parallel to CD from A. Okay, and that has created a plane for us. So here's my level line. Level line. Okay, and that has created a plane here. So next up, what we want to do is we want to see an edge view of that plane. Okay, in order to see an edge view of that plane, we need to see the level line as a point view. So let's first of all find that level line in plan. So we're going to go and drop that line vertically down. So that point, call that point O. So O is somewhere along there. Parallel lines are parallel in all views. So this line here, parallel to CD, will be parallel to CD in the plan view from A, so parallel to CD from A, so that's my position of O, and then our level line is B to O, so here's the true length of our level line because it's horizontal uh, in elevation, so we're looking straight down on top of it in our plan, so our level line there true length of level line. So, so we want to see or look along the true length line to see it as a point view and if we see that as a point we will see that entire plane as an edge. Okay, so set up our x, y perpendicular to the level line or the true length of the level line. That's our x1, y1. I will project everything out perpendicular to that. So D projected out. The next is go back two views. So projecting from a plan, we're creating an auxiliary elevation. So our heights we take from our elevation. So the height of D down to my XY. I step off my XY here. B and is at the same height. So B C is going to be on the XY line because it's on the XY line here. And A and this, so I'll step off A there. So we've got A, C, B, and D. So 
So A and B join together. And we should see that D and C are parallel to each other. Or parallel to AB. Okay? Now they're looking for the shortest horizontal distance, so in this view auxiliary elevation, the XY or X1, Y1 is the horizontal line, so we want to look out perpendicular to that. So sliding sets were set up again. This one. Set up perpendicular to my X1, Y1. Okay, so that's my X2, Y2. And project all these points out along that. So C is projected out onto the XY or X2, Y2. A projected up. B and D projecting up. And now we're going to go back two views. Okay, so from my x1, y1 to my plan. I'm going to get my distances. So d and follow d up to here. A. Actually, go to the other side. Just get a first because the line is distance. Let's follow a back. That's a. C. There and B. So A, B, C, D. So showing up our skew lines. And the point of which they cross is the point view of the shortest horizontal distance. Okay, now they're looking for the projections of the shortest horizontal distance, so we want to show that in all views. So we'll project that back to all our views. Work in reverse. That is the shortest horizontal distance. I'm just going to highlight that. And yeah. I project it back now onto the plan view from our end elevation or from our uh, auxiliary elevation. So onto line CD, that's a position there, and then onto line BA, that's a position there. that perfectly. So on to AC or AB and CD and because it is a horizontal line it should appear as a horizontal line up here. Okay so that's a point view of it in that position. So then that's part A done. Determine and indicate in millimeters the true length of this line. Okay, because it is a horizontal line, when we look down on top of a horizontal line, like my pencil here, it's in our being horizontal, okay, we actually have the true length of it. So here is the true length, but they want us to indicate in millimeters. So indicate in millimeters. I've got that at 24 millimeters. Okay, and I'll indicate that to my pen here. So, clearly indicating it to the examiner. And, okay, that's kind of all. Uh, on top of each other, so I'm just going to highlight this, come out and say 24 
millimeters. Okay, so that's first question there in section A, 2022.